We all know there's a home inventory problem out there, but there's one other thing that you don't know about that could possibly extend that problem for years to come. That's exactly right. My name is Lane. And I'm Scott. And we're going to be talking about the new issue that we're going to be facing in real estate down the road here. And we're already starting to see it, and it's a mindset issue, which is fascinating. And that has to do with the fact that so many people today have either refinanced or bought homes at ridiculously low, unheard of mortgage rates. You know, fixed rates in the high twos, the low threes, which I never thought in my lifetime that I would see. And now we know that was a rock bottom, at least in the current cycle, and interest rates are moving up. So what does that low interest rate, fixed rate loan that so many people have today portend for a future home inventory crisis. There were millions and millions of people that refinanced into these more into these low rates. I did it myself twice. But what you're going to see is you're going to see these people, like including myself, that are so in love with this two, I have a 2.875% interest oh, rate. Oh, I have 3.1. Good for you. But it's still 3.1 is really low. So people are going to be in love with their two and their 3% fixed mortgage interest rate. It's a low payment. It's going to be less than what you can rent your house for. They're going to be in so in love with that payment, more so than their need to actually move. Because right now when they move, it's going to, the interest rate's going to be higher. It's going to be a lot more expensive for them to do so. Exactly. And the thing is, we see in our marketplace here in Southern California, the average person stays in their house seven to eight years and then moves up. So we don't know what's going to be happening probably in about six years. But we predict that these people, instead of moving up, unless the rates are significantly down again, they're going to say, hey, I'd like to move to X, but man, I love my monthly payment so much that I'm going to go ahead and just perhaps add on to the house, make my house a little bit more my dream home, use my extra money to do a little bit of traveling. And we could see, I don't know for sure, but we could see a big shift in what that average home ownership stay looks like. Okay, but you said average home ownership stay, and when it extends, what's that going to do for inventory? It's not going to bring new houses to the marketplace, and we know we have a trickle-down effect. You've got certain people that are either selling to move to retirement homes or moving out of the area, or they're selling to move up. And all that puts home on the, homes on the market that trickles down to the first-time buyers, which is where the big squeeze has been. Yeah, even when you're reading in the media that there's a shift happening or that there's a cooling or what have you, we still have an inventory issue right now. It's still We can still triple inventory overnight, and it would be considered a neutral marketplace for us here in Orange County. So we have the demand still with even the shift shift to be able to take on more inventory. But are we going to get it? Are we going to, I don't see how we're going to get it. I think we're going to face this no. issue of low inventory and even maybe even a severe inventory issue because people like myself are so comfortable with this low monthly payment and they love their low, in, low interest rate that we're just going to expand on and we're going to use the money to travel, like you said. You know what? And Lane, that makes me think of something else. Again, we're, we're talking about inventory problems here because so many people are saying, oh, we feel like we've hit a top. There's going to be a recession. Prices are going to cool down. By the way, we have another video on the recession. You'll want to check that out as well. But thinking, oh, prices are going to tumble tumble, tumble, and that's going to bring more homes to the market. Let's just say, for example, I thought of this, what if, which we don't think is going to happen, the prices do kind of tumble a little bit. We know there's record amounts of home equity out there in the marketplace today. The comfort level of most people in their homes is not how much equity they have in their home, but what their monthly nut is. And to Lane's point, if our monthly nut is extremely low, even if my home equity fluctuates a little bit, I'm at no risk of being homeless if I can afford my payment every month. So I'm not going to be suddenly jumping in and selling my house just because on paper it's gone down in value. For those of us that look at our homes as like more of a longer term play, yeah, whatever's happening behind the scenes with appreciation, appreciating values or maybe depreciating values, it's not going to be as bothersome as much because you're not thinking about selling anytime soon. You're just saying, you're just sitting there like, I love the way my lifestyle set up with my low monthly net that you mentioned. And I'm comfortable, comfortable with that because if I didn't own and I wasn't making this payment, I would have to rent. And we all know what rents are doing right now too. <sighs> rents are brutally expensive Crazy. here in Orange County. Two bedrooms are 4,500 a month yeah. in, in, here in Huntington Beach. I was just showing some the other day but anyways like like my mortgage my monthly month my monthly net for a house a four bedroom house is less than that exactly so i don't care for me personally what the value of my home is going to be doing in the next few years because i'm so in love with where i'm at uh, with my financial situation yeah. on a monthly basis yeah precisely you know and i'm a generation older than lane and there's parts of me that would say gee i'd like to kind of scale down do something but even scaling down is going to take you know more of my 
you know, monthly not that I'm paying right now with my low, low mortgage if I leverage and get another mortgage. You know now, what I think you would do if you were going to scale down? You might consider renting your place out and then get and then buying yeah. something smaller or even renting something smaller if you want because you're probably cash flow positive based on where your monthly note is and where rents are. You're right. And that's another issue we look at. And my like, gosh, Lane, this is like a tumbling avalanche here. Let's say someone like myself that has, you know, you know, has been in their home 20, 30 years and I look at rents, I can pull some cash out. I can go ahead and keep my home as part of my real estate portfolio, rent it out, pull some cash out, and buy another property. And still be cash flow positive on your rental. Exactly. But what have I just done? I've just put myself into the pool as another buyer for a smaller inventory and not put another house into that inventory by choosing to keep my home. Where the typical situation was someone sells a house to buy a house, that's, a, that's creating a neutral. See what I'm saying? They put their home, current home back into the pool and they're buying one. So there's a net gain of zero. If I keep my house and buy something else, I've just added to the problem. Not to mention uh, our largest buying pool population right now are millennials. Yeah. Majority of millennials buying are not current homeowners, so they're not selling anything yeah. right now. So we are going to be having some sort of an inventory mm. issue. We were just explaining right now what the new problem we're going to face. And I think the new problem we're going to be seeing are people are so in love with their current low mortgage yeah. interest rates and their low payments, more so than their need to actually move. And so we're going to still, probably still see an inventory issue. I think so. Safe. I know we diverted just a little bit on, on this video, you know, off topic. But again, it. I think the underlying theme is Lane and I just don't see a change in our current housing inventory crisis. No, I, I, we need more inventory. So if you're thinking about selling, let us know. We'd love to help <laughs> out with, the, with that problem. But uh, that was another video. If, if you think we said something that would be of value to a friend or family member, please share that. That's the best thing you can do to show us love on these videos. We love doing them and we love providing value. We want to know your thoughts too. So Absolutely. leave the thoughts in the comments below. You know, we always say whether you want to buy or sell or not, that's irrelevant. That'll come down the line. We just want to provide value and make you very comfortable with the information that we have to share. Thanks yeah. for watching. And until next time.